Hey, art friends, today we're drawing another Pokemon. Which one? More Pico. More Pico, yeah. He gets angry a little bit, mm -hmm. but we're going to draw him friendly. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. You also need some paper and... Something to color with. Yeah. You ready to start? Y yes. Let's first draw his mouth in the middle of our paper. And we'll draw the top of his mouth first, and it's... Uh, even though it's going to look kind of like a frown, frowny mouth, we're drawing a curve that kind of comes down in the middle of our paper. There you go. We're going to curve on the left, and then come down, and then curve on the right. There's his mouth, and it's open. We're going to draw his teeth, or tooth, one, one tooth right in the middle. And then we can also draw his nose, which is just like a little curve. <laughs> then let's draw his eyes. We're going to draw a circle over here, about this size. And then we'll draw another circle, the same size, on the right side. Yeah. Then inside of each eye, let's draw another circle, a little smaller, right in the middle. Then let's color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. Now let's draw his cheeks and their big circles. They're bigger than his eyes. So we're gonna draw another circle or oval right here, just below his eye. And then we can draw that same oval on the other side. He looks like Pikachu, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to draw the top of his head, and it's a big upside down U. So we'll start here on the left, just below his cheek, right here. We're going to come up, and then we're going to draw a big forehead, and then we're <laughs> going to come back down on the other side. So we'll leave a little space next to his cheeks, and then a pretty big forehead. <laughs> yes! Good job! <laughs> <laughs> now let's draw his ears to make him look more like more Pico. We're going to start right above his eye, and we're going to draw a big curve that comes out to the left. Then we're going to draw a little curve at the top so there's not a point, and come back down. It looks like a leaf shape. And we'll leave a little space. We're not going to connect it to his head yet. Then we're going to draw a smaller leaf shape that comes out, and then connect in. and then a little curve inside of his ear. Let's repeat that same shape on the other side, but we're gonna flip it. So we'll start right above his eye, right here, and then we're gonna draw a big curve, it comes out and to the right, and then we'll little curve at the top so that there's, no, there's not a sharp point, and then we'll come back in. Then we're gonna come back out and draw a smaller leaf shape, and then connect into the head. and then a little curve inside of the ear. All right, now we're ready to draw his arms. Let's draw a little curve. We're gonna start inside of his body and we're gonna draw a little curve coming out. We're gonna have both his arms up. Next, let's draw a little thumb at the end. Then we're gonna draw a bigger curve coming out of his thumb and then we're gonna curve around and then back into his body. <laughs> <laughs> Let's repeat the same step on the right side. Come out. Then we'll draw his little thumb. Oh, and this side we could draw him holding a maybe a berry. Yeah. Yeah? And then let's draw a circle. So we're going to come around and we're drawing part of the circle behind the thumb. There you go. You did it. And then we can draw the rest of his arm coming down from the berry and connecting to his body. Now let's draw the rest of his body. We're going to imagine this line on the left side coming behind the arm. And then it's going to come down. And then right at the bottom, we're going to curve in. And let's do the same thing on the right side. Imagine that line going behind the arm, coming down and then curving in right at the bottom. Kind of looks like a big jelly bean shape. Yeah. 
Then in between right here, we're going to leave a little space on each side, but we're going to draw an S curve in between. Kind of goes, it goes down a little and then up a little. Yeah, and then you can get a little closer to the other side. Oh, and this side could curve in a little more too, yeah. Now let's draw his feet. We'll start here on the left side. We're going to draw a big sideways U and then a little curve for the heel. It looks like an oval, part of an oval. Mm -hmm. Then let's do the same thing, but flip it on the other side. So we'll draw a big sideways U coming out and then curve back in. Awesome, we're almost done, except he's missing something. The zigzags. Yeah, he has a cool pattern on his body. Let's start on his eyes, and we're going to draw a diagonal line coming into the center of his body, or his forehead. I'm going to come in a little closer on each side. Then we're going to draw a zigzag shape. So we're going to draw in, or out, and then back in. So it looks like a sideways V. Let's do that same sideways V, but going the other direction on the other side. And then come back in. Yeah. And then right at the top, we're going to draw another diagonal line going out. You did it. Now we're going to draw more zigzag lines down here at the bottom. We'll start on this side, and we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes in towards his chest on each side. Then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to draw a sideways V on each side, go out, and then back in. Then at the bottom, we're going to draw another diagonal line going back out. And then right at the end, we're going to curve and connect to the outside of his body. And the same thing over here. We did it! Awesome! We finished drawing more Pico. He looks really cool, yeah. except we still need to... Color it! Yeah, this part we're going to fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video if you want to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah! I said, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing more Pico. He looks super cool colored in. Yeah. Oh, he can also be a girl, right? Mm -hmm. They can be boy or girl. What do we use to color our drawings? Biannual markers. Yeah, our biannual markers. But you can use whatever you have at home, like crayons or even colored pencils. We used Y003. That's the yellow for the middle. And then what was the brown color that we used? Y611. Yeah. Then we also used gray for the right side, and that was CG03. No, 05. <laughs> <laughs> the pink we used for Morpico's cheeks is R502. What else could our art friends add to their drawing? A background. Yeah, a really cool Pokemon background would be awesome. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing Morpico. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.